people welcome to this week's episode of canvas killer critiques i'm canvas and today we're going to be speaking about an artist i'm going to actually read her bio give you the clearest description of this young lady Boom. so we're talking about tyra coach aka ty Macasso. Uh, is a visual artist currently living in Maryland and working throughout the DMV area. She started her brand to bring awareness and meanings through fashion and art. These topics include domestic violence, anxiety, depression, self-love, suicide, autism, love, racism, and more. Awesome. Awesome. So... I am going to talk about uh, two pieces of hers actually. I'm going to start with the one that is behind this thumbnail video currently. And the image included a caption, uh, though not necessarily a title. So I, uh, and pardon me, you know, I, I included a title uh, which I, I put as Over Your Head, you know, and. Uh, and I'm gonna paraphrase. Uh, you all can check out the um, the, the very definitive uh, caption that uh, Ty uh, pay, uh, excuse me placed on this photo. Though it spoke of uh, men, black men, sharing their emotions and worst uh, worst case scenario, having those emotions uh, be mishandled uh, by those who it was shared with, and subsequently making the black man more hesitant to share again so behold this is the piece that we are looking at yeah this is very beautifully rendered i really dig this cool mint color in the background that has a contrast with the very deep kind of like jade or forest green that's in this eyeball and so also if you notice the eye is missing from this gentleman as he's, he's looking up and there's blood streaming from it and there was a couple of ways that I interpreted the, the symbolism of an actual eye uh, maybe having um, being being used as an entendre uh, for self as far as I stating anything about self uh, because these emotions that the artist is suggesting are very personal and so you know you definitely see this uh, holding of self excuse me holding of others over their head um and uh yeah this definitely being represented in another person's arm or another person's hand rather holding this eye that is suggested to belong to this gentleman given that he has blood streaming down his face so i i enjoy this piece in the the dialogue and the commentary that it allows and it's certainly this piece along with the the other that that i'm certainly going to talk about in the next episode they work well in complementing one another and that they both they both show a, vis, a visual representation of the intuitive mind of uh, black men and black women underneath layers of uh, what can be seen expressed by face or by body language and um yeah I'm, I'm really appreciative of that so so great 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 um some of my favorite moments are along the neck right here where the way that the shapes and they're color filled with a brown and then they have these light brown 
stripes going across them like really kind of like whiskers and then they have these hard lines these black lines separating them to where they begin to look like wooden planks and to see that visually alongside the representation of a neck on a human form it definitely gives me the idea that this man is quote unquote under construction right this man has made repairs and has made the work on self uh, a lumber project or a, you know a very uh, mechanical project so i appreciate moments like that and then also over on the side that is a bit more darker this dark umber there there are a lot of of lines that canal upward into the throat and, and right under the jawline that are reminiscent of uh, certain trees uh, just uh, if you know you're looking externally at the bark and you know it allows for a lot of really great texture and and then also some very nice detail included in both uh, the eyebrow that's visible and along the top of the head you know um visually uh to myself it's reading as a feather of sorts uh, though it blends very seamlessly into what could be uh this gentleman's hair you know and so that's it's a really cool it's a cool rendition there yo Yeah, and I also, I appreciate even that the the arm of the, the figure that's holding the eye above the gentleman's head is also, oh, pardon me, is also rendered pretty crudely, I'd say, similar, and as far as, maybe coarse is a better word, and as I'm looking at it, these the, the the transition from this lighter brown into these broader strokes of, of gray to dark brown and black you know it it adds it adds elements to the way that it's rendered like I said it, it has a coarseness and even on this side with this finger this finger right here it almost looks like uh, like singed toast or, or burnt toast, you know? So it is suggesting to me visually that, you know, similar to the, the gentleman that's being portrayed and that there is a coarseness or a roughness in how it is that either he's building himself or how he's uh, coarsely impacted by emotional emotional dialogue and emotional sharing and essentially has scars you know has uh, parts of himself like i said earlier that are under construction and you know um, this arm or this hand that's holding the eye definitely has a uh, similar reminiscence of of being or or having been through and i appreciate uh, the compliment of the arm and how it's represented and the portrait of uh, this young man and how it's rendered uh, because they really balance each other well to um, to really accentuate what um, what Ty put into her caption you know so very thoroughly done this is awesome awesome yeah so certainly go and and check out her work uh, I'm going to be talking about another piece that um, I'm assuming, uh, you know, she meant as a compliment for this piece here and that, um, you know, they both delve into the inner thoughts or the inner workings uh, behind, uh, like I said, facial expression or body language. And so, yes, check her out. Her Instagram is Ty Macasso, a Maryland based artist. And yeah. Thank you for the work that you do. Word. 
I will see you on the next episode of Canvas Killer Critiques. It's Canvas. Peace.